An Iron Range family is grieving another unimaginable loss tonight. I sat down with the loved ones of Leanna Warner, who now has a new guardian angel watching out for her. Take a walk down Chisholm's Lake Street. Oh, the community's great. Um, we have a good support system. And you're sure to find a familiar face. Very close community. But even 20 years later, there's still one more recognizable than the rest. Just like she vanished. Hi. What's Hi. your name? Leanna. Five-year-old Leanna Warner, gone without a trace. The little Chisholm girl went missing in June 2003, Father's Day weekend. Beaner, as she was fondly known, walked to visit a friend down the street, but never came back home. We had lots of volunteers that showed a lot of supports from all over. Longtime Chisholm residents Tammy Scott and Lori Mart were among yeah. the hundreds who showed up to search for Leanna. We combed every piece and hair in this town. We walked the fields, roads, and went door to door, and we asked them, you know, people to check their properties and make sure that she wasn't in there. Those searches sadly turned up empty. Next June will mark 20 years since that day. While police have followed many leads, there have been no breaks in Leanna's case leaving a gaping hole in the Warner family, one that tragically only got deeper Saturday. They've gone through a lot of hardship. At just 49 years old, Kaylin Warner, Leanna's mother, passed away after a short fight with cancer. Friends say she hadn't been feeling well, so at the end of October, Kaylin went to the hospital. Doctors learned it was small cell lung cancer. What was once stage three quickly became stage four. And after a couple weeks on life support, there was nothing more the doctors could do. Up until the end, Kaylin carried with her a lot of hope. Hope that her daughter, Leanna, would one day come back home. Hope that now the community will carry on, starting with the benefit planned in Kaylin's honor. She's always been so loving and giving and wanting to always give back, which is why we wanted to, you know, give back to her if we could. Dylan and Jesse Perkovich were very close with Kaylin. Yeah, she's been our friend for a very long time. Loads of fun, smiling, happy. It's why they're opening the doors to their sports bar sideline Saturday, raising money to support Kaylin's family, especially her two other daughters, Leanna's sisters, Whitney and Kaylee. Whatever crowd we get, whatever money gets raised for her is just a testament of what the community wants to do for her. A dart tournament. So Kaylin loved throwing darts. Prizes, auction items, and more all on the agenda. Um, I think that just goes to show, you know, how supportive they are of residents here and, um, you know, what a influence Kaylin has had on the community itself. But even through all that support, there's still a family now grieving again. There is so many people out there yet to this day cannot believe that there is nothing came forward and it's all we can do is hope while Kaylin's search for her daughter may have ended without answers the community knows someday somehow they'll learn more until then they'll carry on her fight for answers that lead to Leanna we have lots of hope left yes we're gonna one way or another as long as I'm still here I'm not gonna forget where this child is we want answers in Chisholm, Briggs La Savage, Northern News Now. If you want to attend that benefit, it starts at 1 o'clock this Saturday at Sideline Sports Bar in Chisholm. There's also a GoFundMe set up to support Kaylin's family. We have a link on our website, northernnewsnow.com. We also reached out to Chisholm Police to see where Leanna's case stands today. They still consider it open, and they follow up on every tip, no matter what it is. If you have any information to share, no matter how small, you can call Chisholm Police at the number on your screen. That's also on our website. Otherwise, you can call 911 or the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children.